Welcome back everyone. In this quick lesson, I'll cover how to add summary statistics into this milestones view. Now let's count, do a count of how many tasks, um, <clears throat> how many tasks are completed and how many tasks are not completed for this milestone. Now let's quickly build out a view, a summary view at the top for milestone, where we can see the number of tasks completed for this milestone and the number of tasks not completed for this milestone. Uh, let's quickly duplicate this text and here I'll just wrap this in a row. So the first text we'll show is the completed and then the second one will show it's not completed. So let me just apply this widget style and then the third value is what's being what's completed. So it could be X, X completed. So this one, we need to do a, the quickest way to do this is through a background query, query collection of tasks, count where the project ref is equal to the project ref here. And then the plan ref is equal to this plans document reference. Confirm. And then the text we want to feed in is the task count. And then here. Similarly, we also need, uh, let's combine the text here. The second text field will be completed. And then the first one would be, we need to do another backend query. So let's quickly do it. Back on query, query collection, um, plans. It's going to be the count where, sorry, not plans, task. It's going to be count where the project ref is equal to the project ref and the plan ref is equal to the plan documents reference. Oh, I also forgot where the completed flag, uh, this is the total count. So it must be all of it. While the count completed, we need to filter for the completed flag equals to true. Um, if it's zero, it will show zero. So, yep. So for task count here, the default value will be if it's zero, we'll just put NA, not applicable. While similarly, if there's no task at all, combine text, the second text would be completed. The first one would be count, it's going to be NA. If there's no task at all. Um, let's quickly sort I don't believe I fixed this, but oh yeah, the sorting is due date is increasing. Cool. Now let's quickly test this to see if it works. So here we can see uh, milestone three and milestone two has a zero out of one completed. If we tick here, we can see that milestone one has been updated to one out of one completed. Let's take a pause here. In the final tutorial next week, we'll be putting final touches on our app by adding the ability to add team members and remove team members from projects.